Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Angela. So today I'm filming what's on my iPad. Now I have the M1 iPad Pro 2021. This is the silver one in 12.9 inch. This device is a beast. So I got it about two months ago and I've been using it every single day since I got it. I basically do everything on here from video editing, I edit my thumbnails on here. I recently got into digital journaling, so that's something I'll be talking about in the video as well. But overall, I'm in love with this iPad. I highly recommend this iPad if you're a student, a content creator, or if you're just looking for a device that will spice up your productivity. So in this video, I'll talk about all the apps that I have on this iPad, how I use them, and some productivity tips. So let's get right into it. Okay, so starting with my home screen, this is my wallpaper. I get all my wallpapers from a website called Unsplash. It is literally the best website. I think they also have an app version, but basically Unsplash provides the best high quality images for free. So if you're looking for wallpapers for your desktop, your iPad, or even your iPhone, check out Unsplash. So I'll start on the top left. This is the biggest widget on my home screen and it's the app Reminders. So this is just an Apple app, but I honestly love it. I also use it on my iPhone, and what I like to do on here is just use it as a to-do list, and I also like to include all the completed tasks. So I can see them, it kind of keeps me going, and keeps me going to get more tasks done. Now next to that is the YouTube app. Pretty self-explanatory, I love YouTube, I'm always on here. Um, this is my channel. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, but you love this video, please subscribe for more and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Now, next to the YouTube app, I have YouTube Studio. Now, if you're a content creator, you're on YouTube, you make videos, this is an app you wanna definitely download. So I use this to keep track of all my analytics. It's super helpful. It will show the watch hours, the views, if you got new subscribers. You can also comment back on people through this app and it's just very helpful. Now next to that, I have my second widget and it's actually a stack widget. So I have two stacks. I have the first one, which is the batteries app. I just like to have this on my home screen so I can see where my percentage is at and then I can see my Apple Pencil, and then usually if I use like a keyboard or I have like my AirPods in, it also shows it, so that's super handy. And then the second stack is screen time. So I love to have screen time on my home screen as well, so I can kind of see what apps I'm spending the most time on. I intentionally don't have any social media apps in here, so when I'm on my iPad, I can just stay productive. Now onto the second row, on the left, the first app is called VLLO. Now this is the app that I edit all my videos on. I tried iMovie because it comes on every Apple device. I even tried Final Cut Pro, but guys, to be really honest, I'm not a pro editor and VLLO just makes it so easy to get transitions in your videos, to make like cool text or like animated stickers. I just love it. Let me know if you guys would wanna see a tutorial on VLLO. I would love to show you guys how I edit my videos and to teach those like myself who aren't the best at video editing. Now the app right next to it is InShot in Canva. These are the apps that I use for any graphic design. I make my thumbnails on here and it's just super easy and convenient. Now the last app on the right is Tone. I love this app. I use this for my thumbnails. It literally has the prettiest filters. Now you have to pay for some to unlock it, but I love to use this for my thumbnails. So before I started filming, I actually already took my thumbnail photo, which is this one. I honestly, I don't put the filters all the way to 100%. I usually tone it down to like either 40% or anywhere between 20 to 40% so it does look a little bit more natural. Now keep in mind, Tone is a iPhone app so it doesn't cover the whole screen but you can definitely work around it. On the third row, I have all my Google apps. Now you guys know Google Drive, Google Calendar and Google Photos. I'll talk a little bit about Google Photos. I recently got into this app 
because um, I chose the base model for my iPad in 128 gigs. And I did that intentionally because I want to work with an SSD card. But then also for my whole library, basically, I can put it on Google Photos and then I can just remove all the photos and videos on the Apple library app. Now next I have Notion, which is one of my favorite apps. I love Notion so much. I feel like it just organizes my whole life. So this is my dashboard. I have like a little quote on there that says, you are loved, worthy, desired, beautiful, intelligent, and successful. You're exactly where you need to be right now. Now I love inspirational quotes that motivate you, that make you feel empowered. And um, I have my shopping list. It's just like a quick shopping list. Now I have my notion divided by four sections, the personal life, work and leisure. Now for work example, let's say YouTube. Um, this is where I put all my video ideas. And then I also have my video progress and then the upload calendar. Now I wanna get more into Notion, but I think if you guys wanna see that, I'll make a separate video about a whole Notion tour. Now next to Notion, I have the app GoodNotes, and this is the app that I use for my digital journaling. Now I have two journals. The first one is my faith journal, and I love this one. I love all the sections that it has. It has a prayer section, so you can write all your prayers, the dates. You can do devos, so it's like the soap system where you have scripture, observe, apply, and prayer. My favorite section is the gratitude section and you just write all the stuff that you're grateful for for that week. So the second planner that I have is an overall planner. Um, this is like the index. It has goals, content calendar, projects, habit tracker. I really like the decisions. So if you have a problem or you're working on something, you want to list down all the pros and cons, you can and it actually really helps. Now for digital journaling, I do use the Apple Pencil. This is the second gen Apple Pencil. And I also have a paper like on my screen. So it feels a lot more like pen and paper when you write on it. And that makes the whole experience of digital journaling so much better. And next to GoodNotes, I have Notes. This is the Notes app from Apple. It's very handy. I use this all the time too. Now on the fourth row, the first app I have is Procreate, uh, which I think a lot of you guys know. If you're a creator, if you like to just doodle or draw anything, this is the app you want to get. And it works perfectly with the Apple Pencil, so I highly recommend that. Now next to Procreate, there's Pinterest. I also love this app. I love it for any inspo, for nails, for OOTDs. And I just made this account, so if you guys wanna follow me, it's Angela underscore Aquestas. Now, in the middle of the bottom row, I have the calendar app, and this widget just helps me get an overall look about the month, the days, and the dates. So next to that, I do have TikTok. So because I do edit all my videos on here, I wanted to have TikTok on here so that I can directly post from the TikTok app on my iPad. And then last but not least, I have, of course, Netflix. I love Netflix. I watch this all the time with my husband. I'm currently still watching Riverdale. I just got into Pokemon and my husband loves it. I just love Netflix. And if you guys have any recommendations on shows, Comment down below, I wanna watch it. Now, all the way in the bottom of my home screen, we have the little app row, and it just has some generic apps like Apple Store, my email, Safari, my photos, the camera app, and then of course, settings. Now, as you guys can see, I only have one home screen page, and honestly, I like it like that because I feel like it's more minimal, and I feel like I can stay more productive when there's less clutter. So that is everything that's on my iPad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to some of you. Now comment down below all your favorite apps and if you have anything to recommend. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love it if you leave a thumbs up on this video and we'll see you in the next video.